Hey everyone, Platform Disciple here, and I'm bringing you some quick Infinity Wars content. Um, I'm very busy in real life right now, so I'm probably going to not be as available to make videos. Uh, reason for that is my wife and I are moving. We have uh, got a home now that we're, like, we own, um, we're, so that's going to be, uh, frankly, it's going to be a while before we get settled. And that's going to affect things. And then also very big announcement. My wife and I are having a baby. And that is a huge life change as well. So between moving and then the baby, there's going to be a lot going on. So if you see me online and don't see any videos, it's because I'm just playing the game to enjoy it. And I may not have the, the time um, or bandwidth to actually make content. So the baby is due in early October. Really excited about that, but it definitely is the, the biggest priority in my life uh, and is, is going to be put before everything else, including creating content. Okay, so with that out of the way, uh, let's talk about what we're doing. So I'm going to be doing a Rift run. I've already drafted the deck. I am going to probably just do a single game. But before we do that, I wanted to basically just say that I've been very pleased with how Rift Run has been going. It's been a lot of fun. It's really cool seeing a lot of cards that uh, kind of bring back fond memories from the game ages ago that maybe aren't quite strong enough for constructed play anymore, uh, but are very much uh, serious cards in Rift Run. So a great example is uh, Evolving Parasite, which I'm just pulling up right now. So Evolving Parasite is a card that is not, it's not like bad in Constructed, but it is not quite, it's just not quite good enough uh, for some of the, the most cutthroat decks. Whereas in Rift Run, this card is really, really strong. Uh, I, I think this is one of the strongest cards you could pick. Uh, I think there's other cards that kind of fall into the same category where their their strength in Riff Run is dramatically different than their strength in constructed play, which is really exciting. Uh, and there's there's definitely some cards that are still stinkers just all around, uh, but it's fun to see them at least because people sometimes have to make a choice of like, am I going to play a really good card or maybe I'm going to play a card that isn't isn't quite as good, but it's be It's the best option I have. Uh, but what's kind of going to be interesting about this draft is, and I'm going to bring up this as maybe a concern, uh, is I have drafted a deck that is very strong. And it's triple overseers and has Tempest in the command zone. Uh, I don't know any statistics about riff run win rates or anything like that. But I will say as a player, my experience playing with and against Overseers in Rift Run is Overseers, regardless of how good their win rate is, feels like it has a very, very high window of variance for its average performance. So what I mean by that is most faction combinations with maybe some wiggle room for some, some things might just be stronger than others, uh, are going to center somewhere around 50% win rate with a bell curve, uh, perhaps, with most of those decks being around the 50%. Um, I think that maybe Overseers is similarly around that 50%, but I think it's not a bell curve. I think you have some, some really, really high win rate Overseers decks and some really, really low win rate Overseers decks and the reason for that is that Overseers uh, in Rift Run specifically, uh, not so much in Constructed, not, it's a different issue, but uh, the strength of that faction in Rift Run is really, really heavily lying on the back of just a, a handful of cards, uh, Tempest being one of them. That I think if you have Tempest or uh, Raziel... I can spell him. If you have Tempest or Raziel in the command zone, you are cooking with gas because if the other player doesn't have a very 
early way to deal with those cards, you can very easily run away with the game. That doesn't happen so much in Constructed because uh, it's easier to have your own deck be efficient enough to outrace these cards or to have high quality enough removal that you can reliably expect to be able to deal with these. But what I want to get at here is that Tempest and Razael are both one drops that can kind of win the game on their own. And they are so strong, in fact, that uh, if I am playing in Rift Run and uh, I manage to like use a, a four cost piece of removal to kill their one drop, it might still be the right play because of just how how strong those two cards are. Um, Again, I don't know what the statistics behind this are, but uh, I know that the, there's different weighting for how frequently different cards show up as commanders or uh, in the, the main deck. Uh, I think Tempest and Razael are completely innocuous in the main deck, but I think as commanders, they can be very challenging to play against uh, because there's just not that same level of consistency uh, to be able to deal with them. Razael is, I think, slightly less problematic because Razael, at least him having to attack alone, is kind of a significant drawback where you have to actually commit to using him specifically. Whereas Tempest, Tempest can get really big and has kind of no drawbacks. Uh, that's my feeling. But anyways, let's put this to the test. And let's jump into a Rift Run. We'll play a single game. Here is my deck. Uh, I have a really, really good command zone because I have uh, Tempest, who we've just talked about. Uh, Lilaria, uh, who I don't think is as problematic as Tempest because she comes out on turn four, but flying is, is dramatically better in Rift Run than it is in regular game modes because it's that much harder to deal with flying characters. And, um, you know... Tyra's not bad. Tyra's pretty good. Uh, so that's that's a totally fine third commander. And uh, the rest of the deck, uh, frankly, doesn't matter. Because cause if Tempest gets there or Lilaria gets there, as long as I have other angels, which is a very easy condition to meet when we're in triple overseers, uh, the card quality can be relatively low because they're just there to... to turn into fuel for for those two cards okay so let's jump into it and uh we found a match right away uh another thing i guess worth worth commending right now is that the rift run really actually did bring a lot of players back in okay this is going to be really interesting uh because they're also on triple overseers here and i think this is going to maybe even demonstrate what i was just talking about the the very wide gap between the good overseer's deck and the bad overseer's deck. Uh, I mean, be, if I lose, I'm going to look like a, a goofball here, but their command zone doesn't look like my command zone. That this, this is a really good card. Uh, maybe it'll just get banished. Okay, they actually did have a turn one Tempest, so it's not quite as... It's not going to be quite as one-sided. Um... We can repel their Tempest at some point. And uh, if we trade here, I don't care. Maybe I care a little bit. Okay. Um, feeling good. They could block. This would be a... How big is this? So it's a 4-4 four, four base... And it could be a five five, so it would it would get killed by Truthkeeper, so that's fine. Cause yeah, so we'll we will play Gabrielle because that's just the most disruptive card we can play. They could play this. I don't really care. We can even repel it. Did I miss that? Oh my god. Maybe it was not visible to me. Either that or I'm very stupid. Oh, that's very bad. Um, I 
that puts us in a really awkward position. I think we want to do... We'll just throw that out. It's not the best use for Repel. Actually, it's a very bad use for Repel because it heals her. We don't have a very good play here, but I, I think I want to Champion's Attendant this once I can. Um, could play Empathy, bat Empath Battery. Uh, could play Laria, but it's kind of a weak turn for us to play that. I'd like to just develop a board, but I think I think we'll do the empath battery. Okay. So now we can champion's attendant, which is plus five plus five, which is pretty big. Uh we'll end up overcharging something. I think we're gonna drop the rescue angel because it's not very good when both of us are on like exclusively flying characters. I think this is going to be a much harder game than I've, I've made it out to be. Because uh, Jubilee is going to get to be kind of significant. Okay, there's their Gabriel. Um, reminder, friendly reminder, Repel won't work on this. Uh, but I could do that and do, do the Repel if uh, that's what we want. It's so awful that I am considering throwing a five cost card at their one drop. I, I hate that so much. Um... Let's try that. It's not great, but at least we're resource efficient. But yeah, here we're we're literally looking to trade our five drop with their one drop, and it's still like legitimately probably the the right play. Okay, well, we have another Tempest we could play, which is honestly never bad. Uh, we have a good Repel this turn. Um, it's not very resource efficient, because, but we have to get that off of the battlefield somehow. Uh, or we could try to be aggressive. This could come out this turn which would trade with these two, which is not that bad. Could be a lot worse. I think this is... It's just so weak. Gotta hate Gabrielle. Really obnoxious card. I sure talked a lot of smack for somebody who's literally going to just lose this. Ugh. Like this, this is, this is not okay. <laughs> uh, I think we do want to hit that. This is scary, but I think this is more likely to cause issues for them. Um, I just feel like we're on so much less gas than them for some reason. Let's do that in case they defend with Jubilee. Well, we lose. 
So we have no gas here. Um, we can repel from the graveyard, get rid of that. Which is, it could be, it could be worse, but it's, it's really bad. And this doesn't defend because we're not the aggressor here. Uh, we could play Tyra. Could we get a tie, maybe? Not with our hand. Counterspell doing literally nothing for me. I think we shuffle the counterspell away. That's not good right now. Could gain life off of Empath Battery by deploying both of these, but it feels like a too little too late kind of situation. I think it might still be our best play, though. It's definitely a too little too late situation. <sighs> Alright. Wow, okay. Oh my god. The repel didn't work because Gabrielle uh makes made that cost for. Okay, so that's it. We lose. Maybe I'll do one more game. But like Well, at least at least at least you all know that uh pretty honest over here for uh talking a lot of smack and still putting the video up. Could uh I could very easily have skipped this one, but uh here we are. I will say that even even when I am playing Tempest, I still don't want to see Tempest. That card is so freaking obnoxious. Like I don't ever want to play against one drops that get bigger than a six six, uh, unless there is like a serious condition that has to be met, and the condition for Tempest is not a real condition. You get her to be a 10-10 just by playing the game. It doesn't have meaningful deck building restriction either. Because if I am she because she is she is two overseer's purity. So I don't know how you build a two overseer's purity deck and don't meet the condition of having enough angels for this card to be a six-six. Uh, which is way, way ahead of uh, what what is cost efficient for a one drop. And it has flying. And it gets bigger than a 6-6. Six, six. But uh, here we are. We're the one playing Tempest this game. So again, maybe I am talking out of my ass. Because if the card's so good, I should win this. Right? Do you think that do you think this gets commandoed on turn one? I think we still Actually let's let's just play it safe. Alright, okay, okay, so no, we did something right. <laughs> um very good. We we like that. Um so now we can get it outside of commando range and that like Getting it outside of commando range has to be a win, right? It has to be. Um, this would be an awkward trade for us, but like we don't have that much else going on. I think we do this. And uh, if we can somehow keep Tempest alive until we do Heaven's Assistance, uh, that's huge. We also have a turn four evict, which is not bad. Because we can evict this guy. Two lives coming in handy there. Uh, I 
think we just fire off the evict because this really slows them down and our other turn four option is to play Loaria, which uh, is kind of mediocre at the moment. Yeah, I think we still, I think we do that. It also clears the way for us to play Heaven's Assistance without worrying about this card blowing up all of our, our guys that we get. And uh, this isn't like a huge Heaven's Assistance right now. But it gets us five guys. And it, it, a minimum of five. We could get way more if we wait for the quarantine break, which is not... It's not a crazy idea. We could Heaven's heavenly wish instead and remove that or we could champions attendant and and juice our tempest a little bit it's, it's so because it, we know he has this so we get so much gas for just waiting a little bit um so yeah maybe we do that we will do that uh i think we're gonna drop the counter spell here because like i don't like i want him to play quarantine break and i don't i mean i guess war cry would be a lot of damage with with quarantine break at the same time so let's let's maybe drop that instead oh, we fired off the war cry now which is I don't think was wise. Why can I not see his cards anymore? He didn't do something like swapped his hand out. Is it because he activated Dragon Trainer and now his hand is overcharged twice? So he may have overcharged away the cards we were looking at, I suppose. Wouldn't be Str stranger things have happened. Um, I think I'll do Heaven's Assistance this turn, and then I can just block with them and win win in the air. Because even even if he doesn't have quarantine break anymore, he still has to play characters to win the game. He's down at 20. We have plenty of things to defend with. Uh, we could play Tyra. We could play Laria. Oh, they've given up. Okay. All right, we'll play one more. We'll, we'll round it out with three games. I, I am uh, admittedly very salty about that first game. Uh, <laughs> I really think that this deck could have been a nine win deck, but maybe so I, 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 I did not play as well as I could have, um, but you know, it is what it is. It's all about practice, right? Okay. And we are against Cobalts again. So it is, that is the, the nature of having the small player base and it is definitely Hurts a little more in Rift Run because uh, Rift Run, I think, benefits from seeing a bigger variety of decks, so you're you get to test the strength of the the cards and stuff. Um, but what can you do? I think I think we are gonna play around Commando again because I I really think that just getting Tempest to be a five five is a very big breaking point for that card uh declarious 
pretty good butts with their attacks a bit, which is nice. Um, very tempted to attack with this. Because it might, if if he defends, it's awkward. Like we lose a lot of value because like he wants this to die. But at the same time, if he attacks, we get some value there too. Okay. Okay. So now, now we get to win. Because they haven't played for the board, so we get to play Lilaria, and that's that's just it. Between Declarius and everything else, um, like Declarius is is gonna make it so hard for them to outrace us. Like we just throw out like a repel, and that's that's like just backbreaking for them. A little bit of a too little, too late thing for. Is this until end of turn or is that forever? Because he didn't do any damage there, so I'm just wondering what was the ideology there. Um, what do we got? Could slam Tyra. Pretty good. Could also play Champion's Attendant. Also pretty good. I think we play Champion's Attendant. We're going to juice this because I think he's the least likely to get targeted by removal. We're going to drop Champion's Attendant because it's not going to do a whole lot for us this game, I don't think. Okay. So, well, now, now we get to talk about a different card here, which is this card. This card is so bad. I am going to attack straight into it and still win the game, probably. Uh, we'll pull back Tempest. She'll get bigger. Um... I mean, we just kill them, right? So I don't think we care. The <laughs> two of them. Okay. Uh, it just it does the damage after attacks, so it just it just isn't enough. Oh, all right. Um, well, the the reality is, uh, I've got some other things I got to do tonight. Um, that was fun. I'm actually really looking forward to playing out the rest of the matches uh like I, i'm very tempted to do it now but i've got some things i gotta get done so hope you guys enjoyed uh this quick little video um with uh me getting really salty at the game as a bonus feature uh yeah all right until next time everybody take it easy